the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. For the absence of strategic relationships. Please start that one. That is the major reason for the poverty of many. I submit to you. If I am to draw a pie chart and represent all these points, this one will take over 65 percent. This one, the reason why people are poor. Listen, there are three things if you don't have, you will remain perpetually poor. Number one, value. If you don't have value, have relationships. If you don't have relationships, have character. If you don't have these three things, you have signed a contract with poverty forever. Yes, sir. If you lack value, you lack strategic relationships, you lack character, then you are forget about the blessing of the Lord being made manifest in your life. So number four, write please very quickly, the absence of strategic relationships. In John chapter 5, popular scripture, reading from verse 1 to 7, verse, let's look at 7 for emphasis. The, the man at Bethesda, Jesus asked the man, how come you have been so long here? Do you want to be made whole? And the man said, I have no man. That is my issue. Not I have no strength. At least among all the important folks, I seem to be better than others. But the man who will give me the leverage and his one year or one day translated to 38 years of stagnation. Because there was no man. He did not say, I have no skill. He did not say, I have no strength. He most likely was better than somebody. Do you know what it means for one day to become 38 years? And the simple reason is, I have no man. I have no man. There was a crippled man who's had relationships and they came to Jesus' crusade insisting that that man will be healed. And when they found out that there was a crowd, they said, listen, we are not going back with this, our friend. He may not have the power to reach out to Jesus. He may not have the energy to shout, have mercy on me. But he had relationships and they tore the zinc. In other words, we would discuss with the owner of this venue later on. But as far as this man is concerned, not for our sake, they uncovered the roof, the Bible says. And Jesus called it faith, not carelessness, not wickedness. He called it faith. That means relationships can enhance your faith. Strategic relationships. I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, this is where unbelievers cheat believers hands down because we have not learned the value and the excellency of strategic relationship. The average believer will not pay attention to invest in quality, destiny-defining relationships. You know why? Because we, we feel that we are immune with factors and systems of advantage like favor, like the Holy Spirit. And sometimes you hear us brag and say, I don't need any man. If you are saying that to describe the sovereign power of God, you are right. But if you are saying that to mean that on earth here, yeah, you do not need anybody, go and think again. That God had to send an angel to come and carefully discuss with a woman to make her womb available for Jesus to arrive. Look at all the men that played strategic roles in his life. From the prophets, Simeon the prophet, Anna the prophetess, Simon of Cyrene, Joseph of Arimathea, the owner of the donkey that he, 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 he carried for triumphant entry. How could Jesus do without men? As far as he was upon the earth, he needed men. As God, he may not need men, but as a man, he needed men. Let me remind you again that I have taught you that all blessings come from God through men to men. Please say it after me. All blessings come from God through men to men. If God says yes, and on the earth men say no, your yes will remain in the realm of the spirit. I guarantee you. There are people today who may not have as much value, 
when you look at the level of the financial blessing in their lives it looks unfair because realizing that they may not have so much value they turn to relationships and they master the art of bringing strategic relationships there is a difference between strategic and parasitic relationships i'm talking about strategic relationships hallelujah If someone comes to unduly oppress you, you do not know anybody in the police force who can help you. If someone comes to speak, you do not know any, no, it's wrong, it's dangerous. It can keep any believer poor. Respectfully speaking, there are men and women of God today, there are business people, very easy things cannot be done. You want to register a company, and there is no lawyer that believes in you who can say i love you so much you just bring what is needed my own part as a reward i leave it because you did not pay attention building relationships relationships are not gifts they are investments waiting for people to just like you for nothing is a waste of time you've heard me say it here unbelievers a man who is a billionaire will leave america to nigeria to come and celebrate a rich man's two-year-old son let's be honest is the two-year-old son his mate and you see him playing with a baby baby how are you and the baby is not even saying anything and because he was represented there in that birthday celebration they will discuss something that will translate to millions and billions of dollars while believers are there fasting calling the man's name on the ground writing it on paper and say except it's not my god you must give me this job someone has left and is there represented no 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 shouting carelessly let me say this listen 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 please make sure as you listen to me you behave yourself because sometimes when we get excited, we can say all kinds of things. This is a house of discipline. So celebrate the word, but don't start shouting, tell them or misbehave. Please, let me say this as a disclaimer. We are very disciplined people in the name of Jesus. Is someone learning? Relationships. I have learned and I have seen in my life that who hates you does not matter. But ladies and gentlemen, in this wicked world, who loves you? Who loves you matters all. Oh. Esther, you will remain in Shushan until you have an uncle that can present you to the king. But if the king loves you, you can become queen immediately. Joseph, you can remain in the prison even though you have the ability to interpret dreams. If the king does not love you, you remain a prisoner there. We live in an arrogant world that trivializes men. What is there? I have God. I don't need any man. That is true. There is, a, there is a place for that when you are describing the sovereignty of God. But when you are dealing with the dynamics of the cosmos, please do not listen to that wrong teaching that you do not need men. Let me tell you, men are so important huh, that there are gatekeepers who even though they are not believers, you cannot cast them. There are men that are uncastable. If God wants you to pass through that gate, he will grant them favor with you. But as far as they are concerned, praying them away is a waste of time. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, is that in your Bible? He makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. There are some people, if they are not at peace with you, you will go to heaven, but you will suffer on this earth. It's the truth. This is what some of our loved ones did not know. This is what some of our great people, as I'm talking to you now, some of you came from families that, that were mad by poverty. I am showing you that these were the rules that our loved ones broke. When other people were building relationships, they were there gossiping and ignoring people and saying, how can this small boy be rich? Instead of you to be close to him because he can help you. Now, the small boy is the one who can pay for your medical bills. And unfortunately, every old person around you does not have money. What do you now do? Respectfully, there are men and women of God who have insulted members. 
and shouted at people if you are rich you carry all your money and they insult them whereas there's building project coming whereas there are all kinds of things coming then when it is now the time you say if you are if you have money in this church and you are not giving and the people say no 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 you insulted us i go you insult me and insult everything i have so as i go i go with everything i have relationships you come to church you ignore the person sitting at your left and right they say turn to your neighbor you are frowning simply because you do not even know whether that person is the answer to your tomorrow's prayer not even today you see let me tell you the truth please look up we live in a world where we like glitz and glamour once you see someone sit close to you and there's nothing wrong with everybody has their, their you know the way they see life but some of the greatest gifts and the greatest helpers will come in packages that you will need your spirit man to help you discern someone may be seated close to you he may not have money but he's the one who works for the one you are looking for and let me tell you nigerians we know this the person who is an aide of a wealthy man is more is more um, in a position of honor and opportunity than even some of the directors in the company because that is the one who will serve him tea that is the one who will serve him bread and he can smuggle your issue to his ears quickly whereas somebody is still saying well minuted they sign it there and throw it away and pray that the wind evil wind does not push it from that table to the trash as funny as what i'm saying is there are many of us right now the answer to your prayer is what you are hearing you have ignored many people nobody is worth your commitment we have this sense of self-sufficiency no it does not matter you are making a mistake a big mistake I'm not teaching human worship please don't get me wrong there are people because of the abundance and because of the way they have suffered they will want to subjugate people and turn them to slaves please this is not what I'm teaching but I am telling you that in the lifting of men even financially men have a role to play I've asked you this question many times let me ask you one more time think don't talk is there someone in your life right now who you can call for help and the person will help you without thinking twice just think is there someone right now as you are watching me let's assume for instance that you needed let me use a realistic figure maybe 200,000 500,000 a million naira is there someone in your life that has been helped by God who can say for your sake I'm on my way to your house if there is none I guarantee you you are sitting on a time bomb because according to the law of time and chance according to the law of life sooner or later even if you are Jesus you may not be able to carry the cross alone powerful Jesus needed men to help him it is foolishness to believe that for the rest of your life you will not need any man no hallelujah investing in relationships may look costly you will bend over backwards it will sting your ego but the profit that comes from that investment is unbelievable do you know that there are people who do not exactly have work but they are never broke because they are around strategic relationships they greet they hang around when the meeting is happening they are standing outside their job is to just support are you tired okay just bribe me orange quickly and they run and you will think that they are wasting time except that when it's time to share everything even if it's the crumbs from the table it will get to them one day someone will just look at them and say you've been very effective come and take this car and that's it come and take this house and that's it don't expect people to pay attention to you when you have not communicated honor and you have not listen every man's need is his point of contact learn this every man's need is his point of contact if i am thirsty the person who brings me water is the person i pay attention to for that moment are we together many believers do not invest in strategic relationships and then they want astronomical returns for nothing is fraud are we together that means God loves everybody, but you don't invest in your relationship with him. 
I'm using God since it's universal. You don't invest in your relationship, in worship, in prayer, in word study, and then you suddenly want to have the same ministerial opportunities, the same access to the great. It does not work that way. Time is the seed for intimacy. When you sow time, you get back a harvest of intimacy. It's only a foolish person who will bring everybody into your home, your inner chamber. Watch this now. In many houses, you have, you know, maybe the veranda outside. You have the living room, maybe a number of the living rooms. And there are private parlors. You have bedrooms. There are people who, if they come, they are going to wait outside. You don't hate them. But that is the level of the relationship. They have not made the kind of investment. You, you suspect that it will be a risk to expose them to your living room. There are others who may come and you can leave them there. But do you know there are people who can even come to your house and while you are in your kitchen, they can enter your room. Is that true? And sit on the bed and be talking to you and you are not afraid because of the depth of relationship. I ask you one more time. Who in your life have you invested so much in them that they look at you and say over my dead body that they hear that this person's house just went down it was raised down by fire and they say while we're discussing where you will be i've paid for a house for you a three-bedroom flat relocate with your family and stay there before we know what is done i'm praying for you that this wisdom key will work in your life I'm praying for you that in the name of Jesus, you will not make the mistake that those who have gone ahead of you have made. Yeah. Are we together? The absence of strategic relationships. I have no man to speak for me. I am skilled. I am gifted. I'm an IT consultant. I am gifted. I can do this. I'm a real estate, um, you know, expert. I am this and that, but there is no man to speak for me. There is someone who can speak for you everywhere. You must have the discernment to know them and you must have the, the, the humility to invest in their lives. The Bible says, give a portion to seven. And then to eight, it says, for you do not know the evil that will come upon the world. In other words, scatter your human relations investment. You do not know who can be used by God to help you. Are we together? One day you will see a weak woman that may not seem to have any power, but you'll be surprised the kind of people who honor her. And she can call someone and say, please, can you make this man a director? Mama, do you trust him? Yes. And that's it. No interview, no nothing. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.